Can I welcome members to the 24th meeting in 2018 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Agenda item one uh, is a decision on taking business in private, and it's proposed that we take items six, seven, eight, nine, and ten in private. Uh, these items are consideration of delegated powers provisions in various bills and our work programme. Uh, it's also proposed the committee consider its approach to the delegated powers provisions in the bills being taken at its meeting on the 11th of September in private. Does the committee agree to take these items in private? Okay, agenda item two, uh, consideration of a document laid for consultation. Uh, the Land Reform Scotland Act 2016 Register of Persons Holding a Controlled Interest in Land Scotland Regulations 2021, Proposed Draft Regulations 2018-103, and Proposed Explanatory Document 2018-104. These proposed draft regulations would create a new register, the Register of Persons Holding a Controlled Interest in Land under Section 39 of the Land Reform Scotland Act 2016. Uh, does the committee wish to draw the proposed draft regulations to the attention of the Parliament on the following reporting grounds? On ground H, as the meaning of paragraph 15A to C of Schedule 1 could be clearer, the effect of those subparagraphs is to provide examples to explain the type of situation where significant influence or control may exist in respect of an overseas entity. References made to company. This could be clearer as the provision is not intended to refer to UK companies. Uh, and I'll we'll take that one first. Do you want, are you happy to? Right. And on the general ground, as there is an instance of drafting which is not gender neutral. Draft Regulation 7.1 refers to the Keeper of the Registers of Scotland as she. Does the Committee wish to know that the Scottish Government has undertaken to correct those matters in the next version of the Draft Regulations, which will be laid under Section 40 of the Land Reform Scotland Act 2016? So um, do we uh, wish to draw the proposed Draft Regulation, which is not gender neutral, to the attention of Parliament? Uh, and do we wish to note that the government has undertaken to correct the matters? Agreed. Okay. Gender item three, instruments uh, subject to affirmative procedure. Uh, no points have been raised on the draft Public Services Reform, Poverty and Inequalities Commission, Scotland Order 2018, the draft Public Bodies etc. Scotland Act 2003, Treatment of Poverty and Inequality Commission, and Scot Scottish Commission on Social Security as specified authorities order 2018 and the draft regulation of social housing influence of local authority Scotland regulations 2018. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Uh, gender item four, consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure uh, the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations, uh, SSI 2018-211. Uh, these make further amendments to the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Regulations 2012 uh, and the Council Tax Reduction State Pension Credit Scotland Regulations 2012, which are the principal uh, regulations. It's suggested by our legal advisers uh, that the regulations raise a devolution issue for the same reasons as were discussed by the committee previously when considering the principal regulations and subsequent amending instruments. And that's to say that the regulations may relate to matters which are reserved by Section F1 of Part 2 of Schedule 5 to the Scotland Act 1998 in relation to social security schemes. It's recognised that the Scottish Government takes a contrary view uh, an exception 10 has been inserted into the Social Security Reservation on the regulations. This exception has given the Scottish Parliament powers to create benefit schemes in areas of devolved responsibility where the requirements of the exception are satisfied, including that the scheme must be funded from the Scottish Consolidated Fund. In relation to SSI's 
41 and 326 of 2017, the committee suggested to the Scottish Government that framing a new discrete scheme could avoid the committee's concern were that scheme to comply with the requirements of Exception 10. The committee also highlighted that a new discrete scheme would have a further benefit of accessibility to readers if consolidated regulations could be produced. Um, as this is the 14th amending instrument, the principal regulations are well in need of consolidation. Uh, and on the 7th of February uh, 2018, the Cabinet Secretary for Finance wrote to me expressing the view that the consolidation of the principal regulations is not essential. The Cabinet Secretary confirmed, however, uh, to updating the committee on potential ways forward for the council tax reduction scheme in the light of changes to both reserved and devolved benefit systems in the, uh, his, his, his words, late summer of this year. Do members have any comments on that? No? So, uh, does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of Parliament on reporting ground F on the basis that they raise uh, a devolution issue? Um, my view is that we should, so I, I do have a proposal which we can put to a vote, uh, and that is that the pr proposition is that the committee considers that the regulations raise a devolution issue and should be drawn to the attention of the Parliament on that basis. Are, are we agreed on that? No. Okay, we'll put that to a vote. So, um, all those in favour of that proposition, if you could show your hands. That's three. And those against? Three, two. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so that's, that's agreed. Uh, would the committee uh, also be content to write again to the Cabinet Secretary for Finance to obtain an update uh, in light of the earlier commitment. Okay. okay, we'll do that. No points have been raised on SSI's 2018 196, 212, uh, 215, 216, 218, 245, and 256, and no points have been raised on SI's 781 and 841. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay, doke. Agenda item five, instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised on SSI's 2018, 229 and 253. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay, I'll move the meeting into private session. <laughs>